in the previous lecture we have seen django views we have created a list view using function based views how to create list view now in this lecture we'll see how to create a create view provide the details of user and store it in the database so uh, in list view and detail view we have created already uh, this is our list view and uh, if I click on book one then it will give me uh, details of the book which I have been selected so let's create our create view of the book list and uh, we want to create a book from uh, here itself and also we can all uh, we can create our book from here either books and uh, here we can always create our book over here and it will display over here but we want to create our book from here so that user can create book as well so let's write and uh, def book underscore create and uh, request just make sure when we want to create something a book or a magazine or uh, something like that or any entity you want so we need to pass the id as none this is because when we create something it will generate an id so that we need to pass the id from here so let's try it out and uh, one more thing i want to show you that before creating any view we have to create our form the form which will be shown over here this is the django form this is the django admin so first comment out this and uh, okay yeah so this is the default form of django so if we want to create our own form over here so we need to first create our forms.py file so in book i'm creating a new file for save it forms.py and enter so we have created a file so first we need to import our models models import models import book so this is our model which we have to import uh, which is over here so we need to import our model and uh, then after we need to import from django import forms okay so let's define our form so i'm giving you the name django form you can give whatever you want forms dot model form and uh, we have to define class meta class meta and uh, we need to specify our model which is book and now we can use this books as uh, fields fields is equal to we can specify our fields which we want to declare over here so we want name author and one more thing price suppose we want to enter this in our form and uh, let's just save this and okay fair enough and uh, yeah so it's fine and uh, okay we have created our form so we need to just import our form over here so from dot forms import our form name so book form okay so we need to specify it over here so let me just give the name form and form is equal to book form dot objects dot get and id equals to id so this is how we can pass the id which we which will be created and uh, 
will be stored in the form and uh, we need to pass context is equal to just uh, form and form explicitly so after that we need to create our template template is equal to the name of the template i am giving book underscore create dot html make sure you will create the template afterwards and return render request request template and context okay fair enough so let's just make a template of it and just save it and uh, book underscore create dot html and okay so to confirm that we are in the right view mm, create book here okay so fair so we'll specify the book by form and uh, form and then uh, we have to specify that uh, this is the syntax of form dot as underscore b it will give us all the form fields which we have displayed in our form view this fields will display in this template over here so let's check it out once if any errors occurs then uh, okay it's not forms it's form dot model so we just form dot model just save it and uh, okay so we missed the same we missed the cologne and uh, okay fine there might be some mistakes over here so it's fine it's not a big deal server again and uh, okay uh, just let me check it out once okay so a uh, little bit mistake but it's a huge mistake excuse me pardon for that and uh, yeah it's not a function it's a class so i made a mistake uh, so please make sure uh, you'll correct that and uh, okay fine so let's just uh, okay hope you got that we haven't create any url still and uh, we need to specify the url uh, in the urls.py and uh, okay just uh, copy and paste this and uh, book create and uh, book create and here i'm specifying the create only okay so here id we need to get the id from the book form itself so we are not passing any id over here but yes we will pass uh, request dot uh, okay fair first uh, you need to you need to just uh, check it over once uh, check it once that uh, for yes yep we got our form this is the form which is uh, specified in this so we have declared name author price so we got name author and price we haven't described published date so it is not showing over here so after this we need to create a button submit button so we need to go over okay uh, forms with py and uh, input type is equal to submit and uh, name is equal to submit uh, it was a name it's a value so l equal to submit okay fine input okay input so here we have created just save it and refresh the page fine so whenever we uh, name author and suppose price submit so have you seen the uh, whatever we field in the form 
it is shown to the URL, which is not, which is absolutely not secure at all. So why? How to remove this or how to provide the secure form data? So for that, the form tag is the method by default form tag will get a get method so the two methods get and post get is uh, less secure and post is used in all over the world to secure the form data so post method will not show anything to the url so whenever we create any form we need to give uh, post method and to use post method there is one token which is called CSRF token uh, okay let me just show you once uh, when we create it and uh, okay fine again okay, giving something like that and uh, okay so this is the error whenever we use post method then we have to declare a CSRF token you can Google it out what to, what is CSRF token now you can create it or you can pass it by this CSRF token so this is how we can pass it over here and let's try it again okay so now suppose test and uh, author 125 okay so now data is gone from here and uh, uh, okay so this is how we can save our form data but where the data is gone so is it saved over here no it is not created here yet so what should we do to create our user in the form in the admin as well so we need to just uh, save the data uh, so okay so to complete the post method we need to request dot post or none this is because when if we will not pass any data then it will give us none so this is a standard practice to pass it none as well with uh, request.post method otherwise it will generate any error or uh, it will not allow you to go further so it is standard practice to make it and uh, to avoid errors will keep condition if form dot is underscore valid then if valid then uh, we'll create one object obj is equal to form dot save and uh, commit is equal to false so uh, you can google it out by properly an object dot save okay so this is how the data will save in the form let's save it and uh, make sure any error is not occur okay so is valid we just check no error is occurring and refresh the page continue and okay so again uh fair i am giving a demo <coughs> and uh, author and price 152 submit okay so let's see data is created or not uh just refresh the admin page yep both the datas have been created and it is not gone from here so it's fine but uh, we have created our form view and uh, we have uh, done the main view so and one more thing i want to show you that uh, okay fair enough this is uh, great and uh, if we want to change the context then uh, to erase the data whenever we create whenever we create a form then uh, okay to form is equal to form and uh, okay fine and 
and uh, form is equal to book form so this is a standard practice to make it just uh, save it and uh, refresh it and uh, yes data has gone so demo one and uh, so fine this this is how we can create it and uh, okay so just last but not the least okay fine so this is it if you have any question let me know otherwise keep going we have seen how to create create view and we provide the users user details and store it into the database in the next lecture we'll see how to delete the created user or created data from the template